All Blacks have the silverware. Australia need to break the drought. It's Australia leading New Zealand 12 points to nil in Hong Kong. Australians have prided themselves on their physical abilities and achievements. My name's Peter Fitzsimons and I've always admired this about us. Our country has so many opportunities built around our physical abilities, and yet the most common physical disability in childhood directly affects a person's capacity to move. Cerebral palsy. You've no doubt heard of Down syndrome, 81 babies born each year. SIDS, 100 cases each year. Childhood cancer, 284 diagnosed annually. Hearing impaired, 297 babies diagnosed annually. But more than 740 children are diagnosed with cerebral palsy each year. That's almost as much as all the others put together. And it's not just an Australian issue. Globally, there are 17 million people living with cerebral palsy. There are different grades of severity of cerebral palsy. Mild cerebral palsy might mean that a child can walk without assistance to the very severe type of cerebral palsy where the child may need um, a wheelchair, they'll need assistance with most daily activities, and there can be other associated impairments such as maybe blindness, deafness, intellectual disability. What most people don't realize is that one in two people with severe cerebral palsy will experience chronic pain on a daily basis. We often don't realize how important movement and mobility is in our lives until we lose it. Ever had a broken arm? Remember how frustrating this was. This could be how a mild form of cerebral palsy affects a child. But imagine you couldn't use any of your limbs. Then you might start getting a sense of the challenges brave little Ethan and his family faced on a daily basis. Ethan couldn't do anything at all except for smile and use his eyes. He, he couldn't hold his head up, he couldn't talk, he couldn't walk, he couldn't sit down, he couldn't lie down. I mean his name, Ethan, means survivor. That's why we called him Ethan. It didn't matter how bad his day was, how, what sort of struggles he was going through, he could always smile. You know, he met some amazing people. We lunched with the Prime Minister Rudd and with Governor-General Quentin Bryce. He danced with the Wiggles on several occasions. He was in a High Five DVD. He had such potential. I had so many more things I wanted to do with him. You know, I had goals for the next 10 years, what I wanted Ethan to do. And he was only just starting. It's too young to die. He was everything to me and I just, it's left a huge hole in our life, particularly mine. And I love him and I miss him more than anything else. With so much at stake and so many affected, you'd be forgiven for asking what's happening to prevent it and find a cure? Who's doing something about it? We knew the incidence of cerebral palsy. It's one child in Australia every 15 hours. We know the impact of cerebral palsy has on both the child and the family, but we didn't know the causes of cerebral palsy in most cases. When we went around the world and looked at what was being done, there were some great pockets of research happening, but they weren't joining the dots. We needed to facilitate international collaboration into cerebral palsy. So in 2005, Cerebral Palsy Alliance set up the Research Foundation. Its intention was to coordinate a super team across the globe, a team spanning different fields of expertise, and it was unparalleled in its approach, providing desperately needed grant funding to the best researchers, both in Australia and around the world. And the results are speaking for themselves. The major achievements to date have been the establishment of the Australian Cerebral Palsy Register. This is the largest data set on individuals living with cerebral palsy, and this underpins and facilitates the groundbreaking research that we're doing. 
We've also been part of the guidelines for the use of magnesium sulfate and there's a lot of evidence that it can help prevent cerebral palsy by up to 30% in premature babies. And that's really quite significant given that nearly 40% of all cerebral palsy occurs in people who are born preterm. We're also supporting research into the use of drugs such as melatonin and EPO and uh, these drugs may help prevent cerebral palsy and may in fact allow the brain to repair itself following an injury. All these things are important because they're part of the overall picture. There won't be one answer unfortunately and so that's why we're trying to get the best minds from around the world. When you think of the incidence of cerebral palsy, one child being born in Australia every 15 hours with cerebral palsy, these incremental discoveries all add up. It's a simple equation. You take one seemingly small win, then you multiply it by thousands or millions if you count future generations who will benefit. And right there, you see the power of research. Those little things that people take for granted are massive for someone with cerebral palsy. Every incremental gain not only brings us one step closer to the cure, it also changes the lives of people living with cerebral palsy and their families today. Every mother would want their child to be cured of it. But at the time when we had Ethan, if they could have fixed his head control over anything, I would have chosen that over anything. It's life changing. It, it would be total life changing and in Ethan's case it would have saved his life. You know, research is not the easiest or simplest thing. It takes time and resources, effort, it takes determination, persistence. It takes something I've seen firsthand as a proud Australian in arenas across the globe. It's built into the fabric of our history and the soul of every Australian. It's something that's been at the heart of Cerebral Palsy Alliance since its foundation. And it says nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Nothing's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. And they're right. To achieve anything worthwhile takes more than one person. It takes a team, and that team needs you. Let's see what a bit of Aussie spirit and focused effort can do. With you, nothing is impossible. <laughs> yep.